بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دار العلوم بتوريا 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 كتنا حسين دل ربا دار العلوم بتوريا ہے مرکز علم ہدا دار العلوم بتوریا 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 عرش بری پر آفتا تا روم میں مثل ماہتا کچھ اس طرح لگنے لگا دار علوم پہ توریا دار علوم پہ توریا دار علوم پہ توریا انشاءاللہ it gives me great pleasure in calling upon Qari Rehan Mustafa to render a few verses from the Holy Quran inshaAllah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم Furqan Nikoria, who will recite for us a few verses of Na'at Sharif, inshallah. <laughs> I call upon Mufti Shah Faisal. In Persian language, Jashne Simi is like Silver Jubilee. D-U-P stands for Darul Ulum Pirtori. I tried my best, Hazrat, to put the full name, but I couldn't. Sab asatiza kaukab badre kami lakbar hain. Sab asatiza kaukab, kaukab maane sitara, badre kami lakbar hain. Rango nuro nakahat ka aad Jashne Simi hai. اور ایشیا ہو افریقہ یورپ اور امریکہ ایشیا ہو افریقہ یورپ اور امریکہ سب کا کچھ نہ کچھ حصہ آج جشن سیمی ہے رب کے چاہنے والوں کی اداؤں کی صورت what is دار العلوم all about we are learning to imitate the people holy people of اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کہ رب کے چاہنے والوں 
की अदाओं की सूरत सीखने सिखाने का आज जश्न सीमी है एट दिस जंक्शन एज वी एम्बाक एज यू हैव राइट फुली हर्ड दैट द significant part of tonight's program the graduation of ulama and hufaz this is not just an ordinary certificate that is going to be handed out here today for those that will be graduating as ulama they will be receiving their certificates which in fact is being witnessed here tonight by a large galaxy and indeed an array of illuminating stars of ulama that are present here today and not only here on stage for the great number of ulama that are sitting in the audience as well that they attest this certificate by virtue of their presence that this is indeed not an ordinary certificate the ijaza that is going to be given tonight by virtue of this certificate in fact is traceable from stage to stage from level to level right up to the holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam The first graduate for the Hibzul Quran, Hafiz Abdul Rahman Nurbai. Our next graduating student, Hafiz Huzaifa Anwar Abdul Ghani. Our next graduating student for the Hibz category, Hafiz Uthman Shabir. Hafiz Shakir Mushtaq Ahmed Sapa Tuneed Muzammil Rahim The next graduating student Farah Abdi Ibrahim The next graduating student for the hips category is Abdul Hasib Carlos Hafiz Muhammad Tufail Shaukat Hussain Patel The next graduating student Muhammad Shuraik Muhammad Hafiz Muhammad Hassan Mubarak Ali Isa Raji Hafiz Umar Yunus Umar Hafiz Karamat Abdul Nasrullah Hafiz Laik Ibrahim the following people are to graduate as ulama Mulana Hafiz Mahboobur Rahman Mulana Abdul Hafiz Alhamdulillah and the next graduate is going to be Mulana Musa Nkosi We call inshallah Mulana Muhammad Yaseen We call upon Mulana Ahmed Tabiso. 
مولانا حبیب ملن زی الحمدللہ مولانا حسن گنٹو The next Molana to take his rightful position, Alhamdulillah, and that is Molana Yusuf Guntu. Molana Muhammad Nawaz Afzal. Molana Nu'man Arshad. مولانا توفیق حنیف پٹل مفتی سید حارون الازری الحمدللہ he has completed a course that's in Pakistan مفتی سیٹیفیکٹ and الحمدللہ he received his سیٹیفیکٹ from جامعہ رزویہ زیاء العلوم but the presentation of that سیٹیفیکٹ to be done officially today by his eminence Huzoor Qibla Peer Sayyid Haseen Uddin Shah Sahib The staff and management of this institute have also endeavoured to produce a documentary that would outline and show the activities and the achievements of this institute over the past 25 years There are many ways today to take a message into homes via computers, via smartphones and influence the minds of people. Sometimes what is shown is totally un-Islamic. But what we want to do is take the message of Islam to each and every Muslim and show them what is the proper aqidah? The documentary will inshallah start. اس ادارے دالوم پریٹوریا نے وہ کام کر دکھایا ہے جو بڑے بڑے مراکز نہیں کر سکا کرتے ایک چیز ہوتا ہے سننا اور ایک چیز ہوتا ہے دیکھنا ہم سنتے تھے اپنے علماء اکرام سے دالوم پریٹوریا کے بارے میں لیکن آج اپنی آنکھوں سے دیکھا تو یقین مکمل ہو گیا کہ خود مولانا حضاری ہزاروں پریٹوریا دور انہوں نے یہ اسلام کا ایک یہاں چمن کھلا دیا ہے ماشاءاللہ اس دالو للو بیکیم ای سنی فورٹ ویر وی میک اسپریچول پیسفول آرمی تو ریموو دا بیڈ ایلیمنٹس فرام دی سوسائٹی so this Darul Uloom is an industry of knowledge. They're making a person as a scholar to spread light of Islam in the universe. That the Darul Uloom Pretoria is giving us a good example of how the Muslim schools in the uh, in non-Muslim countries. Blessed company of His Eminence Qibla Peer Sayyid Asinuddin Shah Sahib, the first time 
I came into South Africa. After delivering khutbah and leading Salatul Jumma, responsible members of the community approached me to stay here. So His Eminence Qibla Peer Sayyid Asinuddin Shah Saab left me behind with this condition that Darul Uloom should be established. Darul Uloom Pretoria was established as an institution to serve only South African communities. But 25 years later, it has become one of the most influential Islamic educational institutions in the world. The Darul Uloom Pretoria was started from one room with five students. Alhamdulillah, now we have more than 15 country students studying at the Darul Uloom. The Darul Uloom is not here in existence only for the students, but it is also here to educate the masses at large. It is purely by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has afforded us an opportunity uh, through the blessed vision of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that we are in the position that we so are today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen to use us as instruments in the formation, in the establishment and in the way forward for Darulun Pretoria. The Institute now has four branches in the major cities of South Africa. Among these is a branch in the city of Cape Town. Managed entirely by graduates of the Darul Ulum Pretoria, the CTIEC, Cape Town Islamic Educational Center, has expanded exponentially in a short span of time and now has 12 divisions across a broad spectrum ranging from elementary and higher Islamic education to dawah and welfare. The branch in Durban opened its doors for students in 2006 and provides fully-fledged Hifzul Qur'an facilities. Furthermore, a few years back, the Darul Uloom initiated a Dawah Center in Pretoria to spread the light of the Deen of Allah to those outside its folds. Dawah Center is a center of the Darul Uloom Pretoria دینی متین کی تبلیغ کا کام کر رہا ہے دعوہ سنٹر میں ہر طرح کے بیک راؤنڈ سے بچے آتے ہیں انہیں دینی متین کی ایک صحیح معنو میں جو تصویر ہے وہ پیش کی جاتی ہے جس سے وہ اسلام قبول کر لیتے ہیں دارال لنپیٹوریا پچیس سال مکمل کرنے کو ہے الحمدللہ اس عرصے میں سینکڑوں علم اور فیض حاصل کرنے والے اس ادارے سے افریقہ کے علاوہ ایشیا یورپ امریکہ بلکہ دنیا کے مختلف ممالک میں خدمت سر انجام دے رہے ہیں ہنڈریڈس آف لائف have been formed, have been transformed uh, to the effect that they are now recognized as leaders, religious leaders, community leaders. They came in here as individuals, as young adolescents, some even be beyond that period, some before that period, but they walked out of this institute with a career based on sound Islamic principles excellent Islamic knowledge and they stand today as leaders of their community, leaders perhaps of their nations and some of them are even beyond that where they stand as not only individuals but people of international repute. To explain the vital role that the Darul Uloom Pretoria has played in my life and in creating the person that I am today Today I stand before you as Mufti Sayyid Harun al-Azhari. But when I first walked 
through the gates of the Darul Ulum Pretoria, I was a mere unassuming schoolboy. The Darul Ulum Pretoria provided me with all the support a seeker of knowledge needs. Halal is not something that pertains to the consumption of food only, but it is something that encompasses the entire life of a Muslim. When there are contentious issues, Mufti Saab and the staff of the Institute would provide guidance to us in terms of solving these particular issues. And internationally, when we do attend seminars, the research is presented and most often accepted by our colleagues internationally. Alhamdulillah, it has been more than 16 years since I graduated at the Darul Lung Pretoria on the Qibla Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazari Saab. Through the blessings and the barakah of this graduation at Darul Pretoria, I have been the Imam and Khatib at Porchef's room at the Jewel Street Jama Masjid for a period of eight years. Currently, I serve the Sultan Bahu Center here, Imam and Khatib of the Masjid, as well as involvement in the welfare of the poor and needy communities in and around Johannesburg. I am a very happy person with those who have graduated from the Darul Loom and have been in the Darul Loom for about five years in the Jamia Masjid Sultan Bahu in the Jamia Masjid Sultan Bahu and the human rights. The Darul Ulum provides, along with other more compact courses, a comprehensive alim course, which spans six years, integrates the syllabi of both the oldest Islamic university in the world, Al Azhar Sharif, as well as the internationally renowned Jamia Rizviya Ziaul Ulum, and prepares students to lead their communities. <laughs> Darulum Pretoria also provides various courses to the students of different races in the world. Three languages are taught, Arabic language, Urdu language and English. هذا ما جعل المهمة لعلماء الأزهر سهلة غير صورة الأداء بفضل إدارة دار العلوم ورعايتها لطلابها وتوفير الحياة الكاملة لهم مطعما ومشربا ومسكنا وترفيها حتى إذا ما انتهوا من دراستهم عادوا إلى بلادهم حاملين مشاعل النور مشاعل النور الإسلامي يبددون بهذا النور ظلام أوروبا وأمريكا ودول شرق آسيا ووسط إفريقيا وجنوبها إصدار العلوم سي هر سال رمضان المبارك من أفاظ إكرام مختلف ملكو من قرآن سنانه كليه جاته هي Other courses provided by the institute include Alim and Alima, Hifzul Quran and Tajweed, as well as Imamit. Part-time courses include adult classes, afternoon madrasa, while secular education is optionally provided with any course. All female events of education and propagation are managed by the Darul Ulum's ladies section, which is active for 23 years, and multiple religious and global welfare activities are carried out by males and females separately. Established media and publication divisions have made revolutionary advances in the propagation of Islam. The foremost of these is the translation of Kanzul Iman with the commentary Nurul Irfan 
into the English language by Maulana Hussein Mukaddam, a teacher at the Darul Ulum Pretoria. Other initiatives include a monthly publication, Islamic literature, Islamic multimedia content, as well as the live streaming of Tarawi Salah. In its 25 years of service, the Darul Ulum has received acknowledgement and has represented Islam on the highest stages and platforms in South Africa. Deputy Principal of Pretoria Islamic Education Center, Maulana Mohammed Ismail Hazabi. The Darul Ulum has received tremendous support from religious, political, and social leaders, as well as communities from all around the world. Of course, none of these achievements could have been possible without a dedicated teaching and management staff throughout the years. اپنے حبیب علیہ السلام کے صدقے سلاحائے امت کے تفیل متعلقین مخلصین معاونین کے لیے اس ادارے کو صدقہ جاریہ بنائے رکھے نظر نے کر دیا سب سے دگر یہ کیا تھا اور کیا ہو گیا دار علوم پریٹوریا 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 دار In short, what you just witnessed indeed was a journey of 25 years. As we look into the past and as we certainly remember the achievements at this juncture, it is also very, very appropriate that we remember those that toiled hard, that served with absolute dedication and they ensured that every necessary step forward needed to be taken with limited resources at the disposal of Darulum Pretoria. You as a community, Alhamdulillah, made every step of that possible by standing very close, side by side, to Darulum Pretoria. This day, as we record, that this is a milestone achievement or a landmark in the history of Darulum Pretoria, this day we would want to pay tribute to those people that were there right at the beginning. So on this day, we remember them. The posthumous awards to Haji Ahmed Suleiman will be received by Dr. Harun, if not then by Harun Tar. Haji Ibrahim Karim 
whose day would not have been complete if he never visited the Darlum Pretoria. When he travelled abroad, he remained in constant contact with Darlum Pretoria. Such vibrancy is surely missed at Darlum Pretoria. His son Abu Bakr Karim endeavours and surely is there today and trying to fill those great shoes and it is our fervent dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his dreams to put the Darulum Pretoria on another level insha'Allah. Right at the beginning we had Haji Musa Kareem who would often say to Mufti Sahib that Mufti Sahib you have a task to do. Mufti Sahib your Ustad left you behind here to do what is necessary. Mufti Sahib do what you have to do and do not worry about what the people have to say. Continue with your task. Again a personality solely missed. Ahmed Rashid his son will receive this on behalf of the Darul Loom from the hands of Qibla Shah Sahib. When there were difficult times, he placed the Darul Loom in front and he, Marhum Haji Sadullah Kamkar, solely missed at the Darul Loom, dearly remembered at the Darul Loom, Hafiz Masood Kamkar kindly come to the stage and received the posthumous award from the hands of Qibla Shah Sahib. A man whose memories are deeply embedded, a man of few words, but steadfast, and a man who shared with us those moments at Darulum Pretoria, right from the beginning until he left this world. Dr. Mansoor Umar, his son Shahzad Umar, Maulana Muhammad Hussain Muqaddam, who joined the Darulum Pretoria right from the beginning and left behind a legacy in the translation of the Kanzul Iman Sharif. A task which took 14 years to complete on the last Friday of the month of Rabi'ul Awwal, he telephoned Qibla Mufti Saab at about 11 o'clock and said, I have now put my pen down and the translation of the Quran, Kanzul Iman, is complete. The next day, at the Mahfil of Milad Sharif in Sultan Bahu Masjid in Johannesburg, after refreshing his wudu, before entering into the hall, he breathed his last on that day and left behind that translation, that momentous task that was done, and that translation of the Aqeedah of Ahle Sunnat wal Jamaat and Allah Hazrat's work, which is promoted by Darulum Pretoria, every house and this community best testimony to the fact that Allah Hazrat is celebrated even today at Darul Ulum almost every day and no wedding goes by if a Darul Ulum translation is not given at that inshallah and that legacy needs to be continued. His son Muhammad Salim will be coming to receive the posthumous award. Salim Haswari, a dedicated member of Darul Ulum Pretoria, served right from the initial days of the Pretoria Sunni Institute left this world at age 37. At 37 years of age, in his young days, very, very vibrant, and his brother still serves on the board of Darulum Pretoria. Ashraf Haswari will receive that on behalf of the family. Imam Muhammad Ibrahim Abdul Ghafoor, a man who served with absolute dedication. It didn't matter what the weather conditions were, it did not matter what kind of opposition he faced, it did not matter if it meant that there needs to be a nikah to be performed and not long after that if he had to be at, a, at, a, at the cemetery to do the necessary in terms of the janazah salah etc. he was there. 
rain, hail or sunshine, Imam Abdul Ghafoor always shone bright for the community and we want to call upon Muhammad Sharif Abdul Ghafoor to kindly accept this posthumous award on the hands of Qibla Shah Sahib. And I certainly remember the days, the very early formation of Darulum Pretoria, when the late Abdul Haq Saleh Muhammad would travel all the way from Lanasia to be present here at Darulum Pretoria every Wednesday to do the translation of the tafsir classes that Mufti Sahib would offer at the PMT Sunni Madrasa complex. Maulana Tahir, his son, Maulana Ahmed Tahir, will receive this award. Sayyid Zainul Abidin, who brought his son, Hafiz Faisal, at the time when we were the very first batch of students at Darulum Pretoria, he was amongst the first five students that were registered here at Darulum Pretoria. Hence, he brought his second son and was indeed instrumental in the establishment of Darulum Pretoria in Durban. And even before the establishment of Darulum Pretoria, he paved the way for the Durban branch to be established. And by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did not see the doors of Darulum Pretoria open in Durban as a branch of Darulum Pretoria. But his son, Faisal, made available that house that Sayyid Zainul Abidin himself lived in and said that Darulum Pretoria needs to open here and this will be the foundation of the branch in Durban. His son, Hafiz, Zayed is, Hafiz uh, Sayyid Zahid, is here to receive this award. Hazrat Allama Maulana Zahidul Malik Luqmanvi Orf Khanzada Saab, who served at Darulum Pretoria and eventually moved on into the halal industry and with absolute dedication served there. His son is present here. I'm going to call upon Muhammad Tahir Khan to kindly come on stage and join his uncle, Hazrat Allama Maulana Sabzada Mizbahul Malik Sahib, jointly to receive this award by the hands of Qibla Shah Sahib. During the early formation of Darulum Pretoria, again, there were people that truly supported Darulum Pretoria. One such personality, Anwar Ali Qasim, always made himself available and was there to support Darulum Pretoria. His son Hafiz Abdul Majid is here to receive that posthumous award on behalf of the family. Sheikh Jilani Atibba, who taught at Darulum Pretoria, was a vibrant teacher at Darulum Pretoria. His son-in-law, a graduate of Darulum Pretoria, Maulana Ishaq Osman, will receive the posthumous award on behalf of the family. Sayyid Hassan Dawood, the late Marhum Sayyid Hassan Dawood, who also at the initial stages of Darulum Pretoria would toil very, very hard and would ensure that the Maslake Ala Hazrat and he ensured he gave us his full support. Then another graduate of Darulum and the nephew of uh, Hassan Dawood, uh, we are going to call upon Maulana Abzal Alimia to accept this on his behalf, on behalf of the family. The next award is not a posthumous award and it is an award of recognition of service. And as we know, 25 years for Darulum Pretoria, whenever we needed sound, Shamsuddin of Shamsu Sound was always there. And at no cost to Darulum Pretoria, he always provided the sound, Alhamdulillah. And the award will be received by Brother Shiraz who is the right-hand man of Shamsu Sound, he will be coming on stage to receive this award of recognition of service. I've been given this note to read out here. This is on behalf of the Musallis of Masjid Ghosiya. Assalamu alaikum. It gives us a great honor and pleasure to award Mufti Muhammad Akbar Azarvi Sahib Hafiz Ismail Azarvi and Darulum Pretoria on this milestone achievement of 25 years. This is on behalf of the Musallis of Masjid Ghosiya Lodium that the presentation will be done by Maulana Shoaib Wali. 
Inshallah, in the next award will be also uh, actually given to His Eminence Hazrat Allama Hafiz Ismail Hazarvi, and Inshallah he will collect it from His Eminence Qibla Ustazi, Ustazul Alama Pir Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib. So, Alhamdulillah, and now the next award which is from the uh, Ghosia Masjid and the Musallis is the Daru Ulum Award that they would like to give that will be received by Qibla Mufti Sahib and Hafiz Sahib, both of them standing together holding this award and each and every one of us make dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow them to continue to serve this deen of Islam inshallah. The people that really work hard behind the scenes and it is in fact the efforts of these people that have to act and play the role many a times as mother and father to these people that sit here today before us as graduates. I want to call upon Sheikh Ali Aitam to kindly come on. He is responsible for the bridging cause at Darlum Pretoria. And for the Hibs class, we have the following Asatiza, Qari Muhammad Rafiq Sultani, Qari Nur Alam Ibrahim, and Sheikh Shukri. Alim Koz Level 1, Maulana Abzal Alimia and Maulana Muhammad Faizan Nikoria. These are also graduates of Darlum Pretoria. Alim Koz Level 2, Maulana Muhammad Osman Suleri, also a graduate of Darlum Pretoria. Alim Koz Level 3, Sheikh Abdul Majid Bakhit. Alim Koz Level 4, Sheikh Zahid Eid. And Alim Koz Level 5, Sheikh Hassan Dervesh and Alim Koz level 6, Hazrat Lama Maulana Sarfaraz Rahmatullah, and those with other supervisory responsibilities at Darulum Pretoria, Qari Sher Zaman and Qari Abdul Manan. Inshallah, that is the Asatiza. I request Hafiz Ismail Hazarvi to inshallah stand next to them as the deputy principal, and thereafter His Eminence Ustazi Mufti Azam South Africa. Qibla Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazarvi is the principal. The Darul Ulum Pretoria has indeed reached 25 years of excellence in higher Islamic education. And it is for this reason that a brochure on the Darul Ulum Pretoria Silver Jubilee 25 years has been prepared that has a lot of information as well as tributes, as well as dars, lessons from the Qur'an and the Sunnah, articles, as well as testimonies regarding Daru Ulum Pretoria from various organizations and institutes. The Silver Jubilee Alumni Souvenir Brochure celebrating 25 years of excellence, the treasures of Daru Ulum Pretoria, Al Akmar Wan Nujum Min Daril Ulum. This is a book, 230 pages of the various students, graduates of the Daru Ulum Pretoria that have come in and that have completed their education, information, and a brochure that is giving you indeed a few of the sentiments that they share regarding the Daru Ulum Pretoria that is fully dedicated. And I'm going to take this time to, inshallah, read out this dedication for the next minute. And this is sincerely on behalf of all the graduates of Daru Ulum Pretoria. After 25 long years of service, I, Sayyid Imran, wanted my honorable mentors, guides, and teachers to taste the sweetness of the fruits of the seeds that they had planted so many years ago. I want them to know that their efforts are always prominent and have never gone unnoticed. You are the reason that we are who we are today. You are the reason that I am who I am today. I want to be more like you every moment that passes. You have shown me that true dedication, commitment, care and love can do to an institute wonders. I don't have the words to express my gratitude for all you have done for me. My father, Sayyid Ismail Shah, left this mundane world when I was a very young lad. Allah blessed me not with one, but two fathers, whom are you? 
Both of you have been my inspiration. You are my role models in life and indeed I will attain the benefit in the Akhirah. I admire the fact that you have been so close to each other that no matter which storm has passed you, you always supported each other. 25 years is a very long time and I pray that we will be together on the 50 years golden jubilee celebration. It's not that far. It's just another 25 years. Hang in there. May Allah bless you with good in this world and in the Akhirah. We also remember all those that who have passed on and are no longer here with us today. And those are the stalwarts of Daru Ulum Pretoria. May Allah grant them maghfira ameen. 25 years in the service of the deen of Islam. It is for that reason I ask Sheikh Sayyid Ridwan Ziai to present insha'Allah to hand over to his eminence Ustaz Ivo, Ustaz Ulama, Abu Khair Qibla Peer, Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib, one of the books that will be given to each of them, but more than that, a gift that we have made that we are going to show to you and then hand over insha'Allah. Darul Ulum Pretoria, 25 years. Awarded to Mufti Azam, South Africa, Qibla Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazarvi, for your guidance, for your love, for your care, for your sacrifice, and for your dedication in serving Islam as our leader, in serving Islam as our mentor. May Allah Almighty bless you. This is gifted by your humble student, Sayyid Imran Shah Ziai, and all the graduates of Daru Ulum Pretoria. The very same words are written for His Eminence, Hazrat Allama Hafiz Ismail Hazarvi. For indeed, there is nothing that will go past without the two of them together. May Allah keep them united in this cause. This is the least that we can do to show our love. And this is awarded to Allama Hafiz Ismail Hazarvi. From the beginning till now, Jis shakhs or jis mujahid ne har mushkil, har khushi or har kafiyat me khulus bare jazbat ke saath मेरा साथ दिया और दारुल उलूम पिटोरिया की खिदमत और बलाई के लिए बेहतरी के लिए सरफराजी और कामयाबी के लिए अपना तन मन धन सब कुछ कुर्बान करने से कभी दरेग नहीं किया वो हैं मुखलसी برادر محترم حضرت مولانا حافظ محمد اسماعیل صاحب ہزاروی میں برادر مولانا حافظ محمد اسماعیل ہزاروی سے ملتمس ہوں کہ قبلہ شاہ صاحب کے مبارک ہاتھ سے یہ سند اعزاز حاصل کرنے کی سعادت حاصل کریں جب پہلا ہمارا تقسیم اسناد کا جلسہ ہوا تھا تو اس وقت قبلہ استاد المکرم شاہ صاحب جن کو ہم محتمم صاحب یا بڑے شاہ صاحب کہا کرتے تھے اللہ ان پر کرور کرور رحمت نازل فرمائے ان کے ہاتھ سے سند فراغت حاصل کی تھی جن شخصیات نے جن خوش نصیبوں میں ان میں ایک مولانا عبد الوہاب وکے انشاءاللہ قبلہ استاذ المکرم کے دست مبارک سے سند اعزاز حاصل کریں گے انہوں نے مختلف پلیٹ فارمز پہ دین کی خدمت کی سپیشلی حلال اور حرام کا تعلق اسلام اور انسانی زندگی کے ساتھ بہت قریب کا ہے اس میں انہوں نے اپنی کوشش سائی کے ساتھ جو خدمت کی ہے وہ قابل ستائش ہے اس کے اعزاز میں وہ یہ سند حاصل کریں گے قبلہ استاد المکرم صاحب کے ہاتھ سے حضرت مولانا اسلم سلیمان یہ بھی ان خشت نصیبوں میں تھے جس وقت قبلہ شاہ صاحب یہاں تھے اور ان کے پیر مرشد وہ بھی کلوچے شریف سے جہاں تشریف لائے تھے تو انہوں نے سند حاصل کی تھی یہ پہلا بیج تھا 
اور اس کے بعد آج تک یہ دین کی خدمت کر رہے ہیں اور جس اعتبار سے اس مرکز میں جو ہینزبرگ میں انہوں نے کام کیا ہے قابل استائش ہے اس کے اعزاز میں یہ سند ان کو پیش کی جاتی ہے قبلہ استادی المکرم صاحب کے ہاتھ سے وصول کریں دارالعلوم چوبیس گھنٹے بچے رہتے ہوں اور مختلف بیک گراؤنڈ سے تو بہت ہی مشکل ہوتا ہے ایک نوجوان ہے جس نے اس میدان میں ابھی ابھی اتنا وقت گزرا نہیں قدم رکھا لیکن جس جرت جس ہمت اور بہادری کے ساتھ حوصلے کے ساتھ اس نے جو اپنا فریضہ اس خدمت کے لیے پیش کر کے سعادت کا تاج اپنے سر سجایا ہے اور مختصر وقت میں کیپ ٹاؤن میں دارالعلوم کی جو برانچ ہے اس کو ایسی کیفیت اور نیچ پر پہنچا دیا ہے لگتا ہے کہ کچھ وقت کے بعد دارالعلوم پٹوریا مرکز بھی اس کے سامنے ہیچ نظر آئے گا تو قبلہ استادی المکرم کے دست مبارک سے مولانا سید عمران In behalf of the Imam Ahmad Raza Academy, South Africa, in full support of the Daru Alum Pretoria, Alhamdulillah, a gift also that is to be given in appreciation of the 25 years. So, Malana Bashir Khan Qadri, please to present your gift as well at the same time. And inshallah, we hand you over to Qari Javed Akhtar, inshallah. میں ہوں سرکار مدینہ کا گدا جو بھی مانگو مجھے سرکار عطا کر جو بھی مانگو مجھے سرکار عطا کرتے ہیں نسبت شاہ کے نوکر کا فرشتے بھی حیاء کرتے ہیں ہم ہیں سرکار مدینہ کے گدا ہم ہیں سرکار مدینہ کے گدا جو بھی مانگے ہمیں سر 